Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? This is World and Sweet Live. I am your host, DJ Anthony. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, parents and boundaries. Our parents, I'm talking about adults now, okay? Like you you are an adult and your parents don't seem to respect your boundaries. They still think that you are a little child. They try to tell you what they do. They butt it into your business and they're causing a lot of stress in your life. This week, here we go. We're going to figure it out. I'm going to help you out here because I'm older than you. I've been through it. And listen, if your mother or your father is like my mom or Budinsky, then yeah. Listen, we love our parents. We love our parents. Thank you, mom and dad. We love your parents. But they they got to stay in their lane. We're, we're not five years old anymore. So here are some tips that you can impart and implement to help your life, okay, and make things better in the long run. In the short run, mom and dad, whoever the buttons get is, if it's both of them, they're not going to be happy. But number one, start off with understanding this. And I think we all forget this. Our parents are not our Jesus. Our parents are not our Allah. Our parents are not... Yeshem, our parents are not God. We we say, yeah, 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 I know, I know. But you don't know because we treat them like they are. Like whatever they say, oh my God, oh my God. No, okay? They are not God. They're our parents. We love them. We respect them, but they're not God. So they need to stay in their lane. You got And you have to absorb what I just said. You got to know that, okay? Second, um, move out of the house. How about that? Get out of mommy and daddy's basement. I understand. It's expensive. I, I, I've been there. I was a struggling college student too. But you, that's the big one. Once you get out of the house, now you got some leeway. Now you have, especially if you if you used your own money and they didn't like buy you a condo or, or buy your apartment, then they still got their claws in you. And I say claws in you with respect. I know they're not evil, but you got, I know for me, once I got out of the house, I came a lot, I became a lot more, uh, respected by my parents, whether they realize it or not. So, and I also became a little bit more um, mature and a little bit more mm, assertive with, with love. You know what I'm saying? But when you're under someone's roof, I don't care if you're paying them rent, you're under their roof. You know what I mean? And if they're paying for your rent or helping you buy a house, you all the more, they're going to start to see you still as the, the child. You know what I mean? So you got to kind of break that, uh, get a plan, but you got to, you got to move out. Got to move out. I understand it easier said than done. I've been there. But you got to move out. Second, even if you're there or not, <clears throat> try not to take money from your parents. You know what I mean? Like, you're a grown-ass man, grown-ass woman. Like, I know they love you, but hey, mom, I got this. I'm I'm, I'm working hard. Dad, I got this. I'm, I'm, I'm I, you know, I, it's important that I do this for me. You know what I mean? And they can respect that. Don't take the easy way out. You know what I mean? It's, it, unless it's absolutely going to life and death, like you need money for a kidney, different story. But man up, woman up. Okay. Um. By the way, speak to your parents. Not during an argument, because that's not going to go well, but you can go face to face or call them and be like, hey, look, you know, I love you guys, uh, but I just, you know, I feel like, you know, you you don't see me as an adult, you know, and I know that I'll always be your child, but you have to have a heart to heart with them. And if they're, if they're that toxic and you can't have a heart to heart, well, then all the more reason, get the fuck out of the house or the apartment, whatever. Like you got to, you know, that should be giving you impetus to get out. But you should, have, if you can, try to have a conversation with them. Listen, I love you, but you can't. Like, my mother used to try to come to my condo. I was a fool because I gave her a set of keys. <laughs> but I'm like, I come I come, I come home. I'm like, what are you doing here? You know, like, I didn't tell her to come. I didn't invite her. Oh, I'm your mother. I can just do whatever I want. I'm like, no, 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 no. And so I had to have a conversation with her. Listen, Mom, if I have people coming over or, you know, if I have a, a woman coming over, like, I need my privacy. You know, I, I want you to come over, but I, I can't have you you know, just come over. And uh, so, and I changed the locks, you know, now I, you know, buttered it up a little bit. I didn't say I'm changing the locks only because of you, but I was like, you know, Hey, I got other people who have keys. And so I just want to kind of like pare it down and just, you know, I'll I'll have the key and and that's that, you know what I mean? And look, understand your mom and dad, when you have these conversations, they're probably going to take it the wrong way. You know, they're going to be insulted. They're going to try that Catholic or Jewish guilt trip on you or Muslim guilt trip on you. You know, been there, done that. Don't take the bait. Don't you don't owe them endless explanations. Don't feel bad. You are you're entitled because it even says it in the Bible that the man and the woman, right? They should leave their family. You're commanded to do so. You can't be underneath their roof and being breastfed forever. So, you know, they're going to try to give you a little bit of a passive aggressive guilt trip or straight up aggressive guilt trip. Thank you so much, you know, but I, I'm just letting you know how I feel. But you got to put it out there. Do it over the phone if you have to. Do it in a freaking email if you have to. Um, and, uh, you know, your parents are human. You know what I mean? 
they're they're flawed they're sinners i think sometimes we forget that we see them as like oh my god they're so holy they're so great they're so perfect you know and nah you know they're not and, and neither are you so oh that's my time hey check back in for some more great tips on topics like this wellness week live thank you like and subscribe bye bye